Sister, the little human fell down. <laughs> so they did, dear sister. I suppose that means this little game of chase is over. Oh, already? <laughs> it was only like what? fifteen minutes. Hmm. Actually, that seems quite good. For a human, anyways. Most of our chases barely make it a minute before they either give up or run out of breath. I suppose you do have a point. <laughs> oh, what silly and pitiful little creatures these humans are. Though, I admit, I don't mind this one. They may not be able to outrun us, but... They do seem a bit more spirited than our usual prey. Hmm. No, sister. I didn't even say anything yet. I know what you're going to suggest, and my answer is no. You don't even know what I was going to say. <sighs> Let me give it a try. Why don't we keep this little human as our pet? I promise to take care of this one, sister. Am I close? Uh, oh, I mean, I... Well... Ah, I wasn't going to say pet. I think we should keep them as a servant. What? Mm-hmm, a servant. That's... <sighs> no. Sister, please. The humans are food, not playthings. I understand that they are fun to toy with, and that they are, I suppose, kind of cute. But I've told you several times we cannot keep them alive. Once they know what we are, they become dangerous. If we let a single one of them live once they learn the truth, then they could run and tell other people of our existence. We can't afford that. We will kill them, and feed on them, and that shall be the end of it. Sister, I understand your concerns, but... I have a good feeling about this one. I mean, just look. They had numerous chances to get up and run away while we were standing here talking. And yet, there they are. Still obediently waiting for us. Then again, I guess they could just be frozen with fear. But I like to think that they are simply just as intrigued by us as I am of them. And I am sure even you admit that you hold some curiosity. Come on, sister. Can you tell me the idea doesn't intrigue you at all? To have a faithful human dog to have at your every beck and call whilst we are in our home. And aren't they just the cutest little human? <sighs> Ugh. It's pointless arguing with you when you are like this. Okay, fine. I will... At least concede that, yes, they are cute. I guess, if you squint real hard. So, does that mean...? Yes, you can keep it. Yay! I love you, sister. Yes, uh, okay, fine. <clears throat> okay! Jeez, you're still here? I was kind of hoping you would have caught the hint and tried running while I was deliberating with my sister. But I suppose it is as she says. You are a well-behaved dog. <sighs> well, lucky for you that trait seems to have helped you this evening. You see, I have good news, pitiful human. Due to my sister's interest in your kind, I... 
We? <laughs> yes, we have decided that you will not be drained to an empty husk. As was the initial plan when we set out tonight. No, lucky little you have been chosen to become our newest plaything. How does that sound? Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Well, at least they understand well enough when to speak and when to listen. That being never and always. Well, since you will be our pet, I shall explain some things to you. Number one. You will do what we want, when we want, no questions asked. Number two. No consumption of alcohol. As our pet, you will be required to offer yourself for our feedings once a week. It may or may not come as a surprise to you. But when there is alcohol in your blood system at the same time as we feed on you, well, it will in turn make us drunk. And trust me, you do not want to see my sister drunk. The only way they will ever get all the stains out of that apartment is if they burn it down and build a new one. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Those college students were so adorable. They were a bit salty, though. Must have been from all of that instant ramen they ate. Hmm. Oh, I swear you humans really need to take better care of yourself. You will put just about anything in your bodies. And most of them make your blood taste just terrible. You remember the 1700s, sister? Now those were the days. Everything was organic. Hmm. Yes, better times indeed, dear sister. <laughs> right. Where was I? Oh, yes. Rule number three, I like my tea at exactly 95 degrees Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> you brought us that so much, dear sister, about having a bad human. And yet, already, you are demanding they make your tea? Sundere? Sh shut up! I am no Sundere. I, I just figured if we were going to be keeping a human in the house, I might as well make them useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, anyways, questions, human. Oh, that's right. We haven't prepared the guest room since my last bed. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure the mess is still in there, so we can't exactly make them stay there. Hmm... Hold still a moment, a little bit. Ah, they are warm. All of the delicious blood pumping is making them so cozy and warm. You can sleep in my room. On the floor, of course. After all, it is where all good little dogs sleep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Absolutely not. I will be staked through the heart and nailed to a cross before I let some dirty, stinky human sleep in the same room as my sweet little sister. Oh, dear sister. It's perfectly fine. Look at this little human. They are positively petrified by my touch. They wouldn't dare try anything. Untowered? <laughs> it's not the human I am worried about. Why, dear sister, I'm shocked you would imply such a thing. You know there is no one worthy enough to share my bed. Well, except for you, of course. <sighs> oh, it's been far too long since we have had a sleepover, you know. Remember back in the 17th century? We used to sleep in the same bed together every night. Braiding each other's hair and talking about all sorts of things. 
Hmm, good times. We didn't have central heating back in those days. <laughs> oh, sister. Your tongue is sharper than your facts. But again, I assure you. This human is simply a pet. A very pretty pet. But a pet all the same. A little secret about myself and my sister. I am quite fond of humans. I find you to be fascinating creatures. However, my fancies tend to come and go quite quickly. But my sister over there, she is the one who really gets attached. <laughs> I remember one time when I had a pet she was very fond of. One day I found them trying to escape. And so I... Well... I think you can imagine how I reacted to a pet running away. And my sister was so upset. She didn't say anything, but she had this look on her face that was so... <gasps> That's quite enough, my dear sister. I don't want your face so close to them. God only knows what you could catch from them. As for you, we can't very well have you staying in the guest room until the matter of cleaning is seen to. And you shall not be living in either of our rooms. So my proposition is this. You shall make your quarters in our study. It's not so often we visit there these days. And most importantly, it is in the furthest wing from mine and my sister's bedrooms. Your primary duty is to be our plaything. You will do what we say, when we say it, without any disobedience. In return, I promise to take good care of you. Your secondary duty is to be our servant. You will clean our home and ensure it stays nice and tidy. This will include things such as polishing our metal fixtures and decorations, shining the floors, scrubbing the walls, and doing the dishes. Especially the dishes. Ugh. You wouldn't believe how quickly blood gets sticky and hard to get off fine china. <laughs> then again, you'll find out rather soon, won't you? So? Human, any questions? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly little dog. You don't need to go collect your things. You're dead. You died the moment we caught you. At least you are dead to your old life. <laughs> no, no. All of your necessities will be taken care of by us. I'm pretty sure our old pet's clothing will fit you. You know, the clothing that isn't covered in our old pet, that is. Well, with this settled, now I think we can finally get the reason all of this started. <sighs> Sister, it's my turn for first bite, remember? Oh. You are right. I'm sorry. They just look so... juicy. <sighs> How about this? We go at the same time. You take the left and I'll take the right. Wait. Uh, their left or my left? Theirs. Okay. Hold the little pet. I promise we won't suck you dry. Mm. I admit, 
New blood is more delicious than I imagined it would be. And with this, you are officially marked as our pet. Congratulations! Huh? Oh dear. It seems we did drain a little too much out of them. They're passing out. Don't worry, our pet. You just need to rest. We will take you home. And congratulations on your new career. I hope you like wearing color. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you pass out yet? Oh, how diligent servant you are. To stay and listen to the outro. Thank you so much, my servant. But I would like to especially thank my cute little pets on Patreon. All of you helped me so much in my daily endeavors. But some of you are just the cutest. And I have to single out a few of you. Blank. Brandy. Diet Jelly. Woolen Phoenix. Fiofi the Generous. General Damien James Goldcasher. Lord Putano. Martyr. Magnaget 420 Miku Fusion Prophet Tentacles Rafi SO47 Sean and Slushy Thank you so much